Hey guys, I'm Chris Ignato, and you're watching my YouTube channel, so thanks a lot for that. And that's pretty much why I'm making this video today. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and for tuning in. It really means everything to me. You know, there's multiple reasons why I made these YouTube channels. One of them is just to get me out of the house on, on days where I don't feel well. It's kind of a therapy for me. And number two, it's, it's another way of connecting with people. You know, I teach and stuff. And I, I talk to people every time I leave the house. I'm always connected with people. Even in the store, I'm going to talk to people. I can't help it. But YouTube allows me to talk to more people. You know, people that don't live in the same town as me or even the same state. You know, it gives me a chance to show people things that I think are cool, things that I love that are right under our noses. You know, like the spotted salamander. Most people don't know that they walk across the ground in the hundreds or even thousands at the right night, at the right time of year, you know. And there's just so much cool stuff out there, you know? It's, I love it. It's really neat stuff. And as I said, you know, usually when I'm showing people these things, they get pretty excited too. They're like, wow, really? That's here? You know, they get pretty into that stuff. And if that's there, what else is there? You know? What else is out in our own backyards? It's like a seedling, you know? Those roots spread and they interconnect with other things. And it, in my opinion, it brings people together. You know, when you care a lot about nature, if you see something you love out there, you're, you're a little bit compelled to protect it. You want to see what else is there. It gets people into nature and into the environment, you know? And when people are like that, they also tend to care a bit more about each other. I love culture repair, you know? I will die helping people. That's just how I am. You know, they get me mad sometimes. Humans make me mad once in a while. I'm a human. But, um, but I love them. I'll do anything for people, even if I don't know them, even if we're not friends, you know? I just love people. I love connecting with them. I like doing culture repair, you know, trying to encourage people to treat each other well and what it's like to actually approach somebody with something. If you have a problem with them, talk to them about it. You know, it doesn't hurt. You build up a relationship of trust. Even if they're kind of your enemy, they trust that you will come to them with a problem rather than talk about them behind their back. Because all it does is make the rope weaker. We want that rope strong and tight, you know? And uh, so it works good that way. If you love the environment, you're going to want to protect it. You start wanting to protect people and vice versa. If you care a lot about people and see how special they are and how important things are for them to get along and work together, you see that, you know, that and nature go hand in hand, you know? So it's a double-edged sword, in my opinion. And I've been doing this stuff for years. I've really noticed it. I just don't want to get into it today and spend all the time talking about it. But it also gives me a chance to show you the cool stuff that's out there, you know? I mean, you got to admit, some of these things are pretty cool, okay? And there's crazy interesting facts about everything out there, you know, all of these things. Who would know, you know? Who knew that clownfish are hermaphrodites, <laughs> you know? Think about that. Um, so, you know, culture repair, sharing nature with people, getting them into that stuff, that's what it's about. And my other channel, my Earth Skills Handbook channel, I'm tired of hearing about people dying in these emergency situations. You know, like, again, like Katrina down in Louisiana and the southeast. There's a lot of people that died that shouldn't have died. They, that shouldn't have happened, you know? In our own backyards, wherever we are, there's plenty of food and water most of the time. We just have to understand how to procure that stuff and how to process it and use it, you know? I think that if we're on this planet, we should understand how to live on it. We're, as far as I know, we're the only species that doesn't know how to live on Earth without the aid of everybody else, you know? Even going to the stores and getting all that stuff, we don't do that ourselves. We rely on other people to do it, even truck drivers to deliver the stuff, and the, the companies that make the gasoline for those trucks to drive, or the diesel. So. You know, I want to save people. I want to help people. I want to bring them together. I want to show them that life is hard enough. Let's try to make it easier, you know? These survival situations shouldn't be a challenge. In my opinion, it's just another opportunity to utilize our resources and our ingenuity. I love survival situations because you improvise. You're making up half your stuff on the spot. A lot of the videos I make about survival or survival skills they're kind of, you know, half that stuff I'm coming up with on the spot. You know, I know what I'm talking about, 
But the best part is, is inventing a solution with the tools you have at hand. My channel, my Earth Skills channel, is just a toolbox. It's up to you on how you use those tools. You know, you don't have to use a wrench for one thing. You can use it for all sorts of things. A pair of pliers, sometimes they work for a wrench too. You know, so I love that stuff. I love being resourceful. I love improvising and coming up with a solution to the problem. So, anyways, that's why I have my two YouTube channels. So, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. It means a lot to me, and let me tell you, it's no walk in the park. Well, yeah, it is, actually. But at the same time, I run into a lot of problems, too. You know, some videos I have to shoot them several times to get the footage I want, or to explain stuff the way I want, or there's an airplane going by and all, you know? I do have a lot of bloopers, and I plan on making a video on them sometime soon. So anyways, I'm Chris Ignato. Thanks, guys, for watching my YouTube channel. You rock. It means everything to me, and, uh... I'm going to go have a look about Hurricane or Tropical Storm Joaquin is on its way. So, it's going to get here soon. Chris Ignano, signing out.